When you want to talk about things that you like or love in Dutch, you have two options. You can use houden van or graag. How do you know which one to use and when? And how do you use them? Dutch doesn't have a direct translation for to love. The best thing we have is houden van, which comes from houden, which means to hold or to keep, plus van, which means of, so to hold of. Together they mean to love. To say I love you in Dutch, for example, is ik hou van jou, ik hou van jou. Houden van can only be combined with a thing, a concept, or an object. For example, ik hou van dieren, I love animals, or ik hou van voetbal, I love football. Or, ik hou van Nederland. I love the Netherlands. If instead you want to talk about an activity, it's better to use graag instead. But unlike houden, graag is not a verb, it's an adverb. So you cannot just use it like to love or to like in English. Instead, you have to take another verb and put graag after it. You can take any verb in the Dutch language and combine it with graag to say that you like doing that activity. It's very easy. I'll give you a few examples. The first one, ik speel voetbal, means I play football. If I want to say that I like playing football, I can simply add graag to the sentence after the verb. Ik speel graag voetbal. I like playing football. Or, hij eet pizza. He eats pizza becomes he eet graag pizza. He eet graag pizza. He likes eating pizza. Another one. Ze spelen klassieke muziek. They play classical music. Becomes. Ze spelen graag klassieke muziek. Ze spelen graag klassieke muziek. They like playing classical music. Or. Wij leren Nederlands. We learn Dutch. We're learning Dutch. Becomes. Wij leren graag Nederlands. Wij leren graag Nederlands. We like learning Dutch. So the rule is, use houden van only if you're talking about a person or a thing or a concept. And then you can say houden van plus this person, thing or concept, like ik hou van mijn moeder. Houden is a verb, so it needs to be conjugated. Now, if instead you want to talk about an activity or something you do or an action, then it's better to use graag. But graag is not a verb. It's something that you put after the verb. So, instead you say, Ik speel graag muziek. I like playing music. So, you use the verb spelen here, and you add graag to indicate that you like doing it. Now, so far, we've always put graag immediately after the verb. Now, if you've seen my video on word order, you may be wondering if this is always the case. And you're right, it's not. Unfortunately, it's a tiny bit more complicated than that. But if you've seen my video on word order, it's actually not very difficult at all. Because graag belongs in the other information category that we saw in that video, which means that it comes after, for example, the time. So if you have time in a sentence, then graag comes after the time. For example, if I want to say that I like going for a swim on Wednesdays, that would be ik ga op woensdag graag zwemmen. Ik ga op woensdag graag zwemmen. It also comes after a definite direct object. For example, Ik zie je dansen, I'm watching you dance, or I can see you dance, becomes Ik zie je graag dansen. Ik zie je graag dansen. I like watching you dance. Here, je comes before graag. But, but everything else, like for example the place, comes after graag. If this seems confusing to you, 
then it's probably best to watch the video on word order. Everything will probably make a lot more sense after that. All right, so now it's your turn. How would you say in Dutch, they love books. They love books. Well, books are things, so you can use houden van. So it simply becomes zij houden van boeken. Ze houden van boeken. They love books. Now, if instead you want to say they love reading books, they love reading books, then all of a sudden we're talking about an activity, reading. So, how would you translate this into Dutch? Well, we've seen that when you're talking about an action or an activity, it's better to use graag. The activity here is reading, so lezen. Then the sentence becomes Ze lezen graag boeken. Ze lezen graag boeken. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters who helped me create these videos. And thanks to you all for watching. Bye-bye.